TikTok may be banned. I know, it's a very terrible thing. I know, you're probably sitting there shaking and crying right now. Oh my god! Don't worry, it'll affect me too because all my funny TikTok videos and cringe drink videos are definitely going to be affected. But yeah, I'm pretty sure you've already seen it at this point. Everybody and their dog has been talking about the TikTok ban here in the US. There's obviously several videos of it. You could just type in TikTok ban into YouTube and you could see massive search results just talking about everything that's been going on. The CEO had also posted on TikTok that he was going to be coming over to the U.S. to explain to Congress what all is going on and fight. I'm here in Washington, D.C. today, and uh, I have some news and updates to share with everyone here. Today, I'm super excited to announce that more than 150 million Americans are on TikTok. That's almost half of the U.S. coming to TikTok to connect, to create, to share, to learn, or just to have some fun. This includes 5 million businesses that use TikTok to reach the customers. And the majority of these are small and medium businesses. Now these numbers are amazing. And I'm so thankful to all of you and the 7,000 TikTok employees in the US who are helping us build this incredible community in America and around the world. Now this comes at a pivotal moment for us. Some politicians have started talking about banning TikTok. Now this could take TikTok away from all 150 million of you. I'll be testifying before Congress later this week to share all that we're doing to protect Americans using the app and deliver on our mission to inspire creativity and to bring joy. Let me know in the comments what you want your elected representatives to know about what you love about TikTok. And you know, what's funny is, is that a lot of these companies like CEOs are barely in, in the spotlight at all. At least this YouTube CEO, Susan Wojcicki, before she left, she was at least in the spotlight and she was, you know, showing that she was an actual person whenever, like, she was there. And of course, we have a new CEO now. I hadn't really seen too much on him and apparently he's someone who is not 100% liked by everybody, but it seems like that he may do some good on the platform if he was that close to Susan Wojcicki. I don't know. I don't know. Don't quote me. I'm just saying I think he will. Xiao Chu? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know exactly how to say his name, and I am so sorry for <laughs> butchering it. He went into Congress these last, uh, I guess, day or two, from what I've been seeing, and he has been working, trying to get Congress to realize that TikTok is not spying on anybody for the Chinese government. Well, they were just berating him, grilling him, basically telling him that what he is doing is causing more people to have more issues than what he's actually saying like people are they're, they're getting their data leaked over into china and people are losing their mind like both sides in america are actually working together which is very weird because both sides hate each other both the republicans and the democrats are actually working together to try and get a ban going unless unless tiktok sells to the u.s and of course the u.s i mean if they're getting money out of it <laughs> oh yeah yeah, we'll keep that TikTok going. But they're trying to get it banned if they cannot get a sale going. China has said recently that they are not going to sell to the United States. They already said that there is no way that a sale is going to be put in there. And of course, why would they? I mean, China, they are getting a good amount of money from the app itself. Why in the hell would they want to sell it? The U.S. isn't going to put up with it. At first, it was Trump talking about it where he was like, oh, we're going to ban TikTok and it's going to be very nice. And I'm going to get another orange spray tan. And I'm, uh, we, we, we're going to ban the Chinese from taking all our information. I'm not saying that the Chinese isn't trying to take our information, but I like making fun of Donald Trump. TikTok CEO Sho Chu testified in front of the House Energy and Commerce Committee in Washington. He vigorously defended charges from lawmakers who claim that TikTok is a Chinese tool to spy on Americans and spread misinformation. We have heard important concerns about the potential for unwanted foreign access to U.S. data and potential manipulation of the TikTok U.S. ecosystem. The bottom line is this. American data stored on American soil by an American company overseen by American personnel. And, and it's it's ridiculous because a lot of these people here, honestly, I really think the word boomer really sets in here in Congress because nobody knows exactly how TikTok is run, how TikTok is functional like how to even use it and like there's even people saying like oh uh well if you're on the wi-fi network in your house and you're trying to use tiktok will tiktok have access to your wi-fi network what mr chu does tiktok access the home wi-fi network 
Only if the user turns on the Wi-Fi. I, I'm sorry, I may not understand the So if I have a TikTok app on my phone and my phone is on my home Wi-Fi network, does TikTok access that network? It will have to, to access the network to get connections to the internet, if, if that's the question. Is it possible then that it could access other devices on that home Wi-Fi network? Congressman, we do not do anything that is beyond any industry norms. Um, I believe the answer to your question is no. It could be technical. Let me get back to you. Yeah, see, I, I don't understand that. Like, I think it's people who are scared because they don't understand. And I, I get it. There's been a lot of things that, that have happened in this world that people just don't understand. And that's what makes them like freak out and blow up like they do because they don't understand how the world works anymore. It, it's, it's wild. And it, I do agree that TikTok shouldn't be on government device. Uh, and I say that because... People have talked about how government devices in the United States and the United Kingdom actually have banned TikTok from being on anybody's phone. Like, I, I do agree there. I don't I do not think at all that government officials or people who are in charge that are supposed to be running this country should be putting TikTok on their phone because we've already seen it with like several police officers. They've just put on TikToks and stuff and they're sitting there dancing and whatnot in their uniform. And it's like, OK, so you have enough time for this. and for hurting people that shouldn't be hurt, but you can't actually protect and serve like what you're saying? I, I, I don't understand it. But I, what I think needs to happen is we just need to wait it out. <laughs> I'm not going to give my opinion on this. I, I, I have a love-hate connection with TikTok. I think that TikTok is good for what it's trying to promote, but I do understand why people are very upset about how... TikTok is not being completely transparent on certain things, and a lot of big companies won't be transparent on it. That's why we never know any kind of issues or anything like related to issues whenever it comes to YouTube, because they'll give us a run around like, oh, we'll do this. Oh, we'll do this. Hey, did you turn off the power and turn it back on? That That's kind of how TikTok is, because it's just like any other company. The CEO seems nice. I've never met him before in my life or have ever seen him on TikTok in my entire life. Apparently, he just showed up one day and he was like, hey, I'm the TikTok CEO. And it's just like, where have you been? <laughs> Granted, people probably knew that he was the CEO, but I have never personally been able to put a face to the CEO of TikTok. So I could not honestly tell you what that dude looked like before this whole thing with Congress started popping up. TikTok gets banned. Just come over here to YouTube, guys. Come on. That's what happened with Musical.ly. Musically went down and Vine went down. Everybody started coming to YouTube. Let's just do a 3.0 with that shit. Let's, let's just bring everybody over here to YouTube. We already have YouTube shorts. If people start doing YouTube shorts more often, maybe they'll be longer than 60 seconds. I see this as an absolute win. If anything, if you lose your TikTok, come on over to YouTube shorts. And also, while you're at it, like and subscribe the, to this video. In fact, just like the video. Just Promote it. Promote it around. I, I didn't really want to talk too much about TikTok because I'm pretty sure everybody else has been seeing it from bigger creators. But I just kind of wanted to give the people who might not have seen it for any reason a little bit of the news. I, I think that it's going to be hard for a lot of people who have used TikToks, especially small businesses, because that has helped them grow and get the money that they needed to, you know, keep their businesses afloat because a lot of small businesses struggle. However, I will say that there's always other means of communication. I don't think that everybody should just sit there and worry that their businesses are going to go down under because TikTok is gone. Go to YouTube, go, well, I would say Facebook, but that's just like a, a death wish right there. Either way, there's always more options. There's always going to be another option. If you lose one, there's always going to be another. That's just how the internet works. Let's get real here.